of how to make the calibration curve for the dilutions lab. So I have some sample data here. This is my, my blank, the 120 is the blank. Uh, these are the different concentrations, and then those are the G values there. So to find the T, I'm going to do equals um, whatever the sample no, uh, value is divided by the blank. So in this case, it's just you know 120 over 120. Um, this one is this divided by 120. You can either type 120 in there, or if you want to keep referencing that one cell, you can just put these dollar signs around um, before the B and the 2. Now I can drag that down, and I will get all of the T values. And then absorbance is negative log of whatever the T value is. So that makes sense for it to be um, zero. That means you know this is we're we're setting our blank to be you know 100% transmittance or zero percent absorbance. And so now I can bring all these down. Okay, so now I have my absorbance values. I have my concentration, and I'm going to plot those. So I'm going to highlight here, and then I'm going to hit Control to highlight the other column, and then I'm going to go to Insert, find this little chart. I do the XY scatter. Great, I've got that. Um, if I give myself a plus sign there, I can add some titles. Um, what else can I do? I can add this trend line. Great. And then if I want to show the um, actual show the trend line, I can just click on this line now, scroll over here, and say display the equation on the chart. If you don't, uh, you want to did that? I got that negative sign, that negative there. I want to change this uh, format axis format the axis I want to set that back over to zero okay now I have my trend line um, I'm going to call this thing a calibration curve and I've got my axis titles I'm just double clicking on those this is absorbance and in the bottom I have my concentration And um, this is in uh, molar concentration. You want to confirm that you actually have everything on the right axis. So this is concentration. I have zero, and then 0 0.125, 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 1. So definitely on. I have the right things on my x-axis. I have my concentration, and my absorbance is on the y-axis. So again, all I had to do was highlight those two columns, um, you know, highlight this, and then Control here. Uh, whoa highlight that, control that. Make sure you leave out the unknown because you don't know what that concentration is. It's going to give you an error if you try to, to plot that. Then go to insert, charts, pick a chart. Good. Um, if I just left click on that to highlight it, right click and add a trend line, that won't, wow, oh, it still messed it up. Okay. Yeah, you, you'll get the equation on the chart. It doesn't matter if this is here. This is just, I, I like it to be set to zero, zero. It's fine being there. It's just, Okay, uh, so then what do you do? So now that you have your uh, your slope over here and your um, intercept, you can use that to help figure out what the unknown concentration is. So let me get to a blank paper to work that out for you. Right, so I have y equals mx plus b. That's what we're dealing with here. Y equals mx plus b, and the equation of my lines, I'm really, I got 0.7751 and 0.7751, okay, so that's what my b is, this is what my slope is, y equals mx plus b. So um, for my unknown, I got an absorbance, an absorbance of 0.17. So that's my absorbance. My absorbance is 0 0.17, which is my y-axis. And I'm looking for the concentration. So I've got 0.7751x plus 0.0001. I'm trying to solve for x. So I'm going to subtract both sides there. Subtract essentially 0. And then just divide by 
and I got 0 0.22 molar. And let's see if that feels right. So my absorbance was like 0.17. And so that would, you know, if I found the absorbance, it'd be over here. And if I drop that down, yeah, sure, about 0.22 molar. That makes sense. So you might have a different value, right? Because we all have different unknowns. We have different drinks and different colors. So 